Hello, I'm Barb Keisman, and I want to welcome you to one of my favorite places, the beach. <laughs> I don't know what it is about water or the woods. Nature just connects me to God, and I just love to come here and spend some time in prayer meditation. Well, today I wanted to share with you the, how I learned the truth of Matthew 5-7. Now, Jesus says in Matthew 5-7, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall be shown mercy. Now, this is, this is a story on how I learned that scripture. It was about 30 years ago. We lived in Ohio, and we moved to Chicago. Well, for a career change. Now, before we left, we left two units, two rental units behind, and when we moved, we hoped that they wouldn't give us any trouble. Now, let me tell you what happened when we got to Chicago. In Chicago, we were trying to pursue photography careers, and Tony um, apprenticed for a photographer. Now, that's how you learned, and they didn't pay you much, but you didn't have to pay them to learn either. In fact, he worked like 50, 60 hours a week for $150 a week, so you can already tell where this is going to go. Anyway, it wasn't long before our tenants stopped paying their rent. And I remember sending them letters and saying, please, we just, we can't afford our rent right now. Please keep up with your rent. And it, it didn't make any difference. I sent letters threatening to evict them. <laughs> it made no difference. Now we were, we were Christians at this point, and I remember reading the scriptures in Matthew 6, 12. And these are the words of Jesus. He says, if you forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And when I read that scripture, I thought, God, are you asking us to forgive our tenants their rent? And so I showed the scripture to Tony and he said, yeah. So we did. We sent letters to our tenants telling us that the Lord had asked us to forgive them their rent and to ask them to please keep up with their rent, which they didn't. <laughs> but we sold the units and that's how we got rid of that problem. But here's what happened not too soon, about three or four years later we became late in paying our rent. We had rented out a photography studio, which was about $900 a month, kind of high rent at that time. And it took us a year and a half, but we got six months back on our rent. Now here's what happened. The landlord showed us kindness. He never once asked us for the rent. He never brought it up. We would bring it up. And he goes, ah, oh, forget about it. You guys are good for it. Well, as I said, it took a year and a half, but we got six months back, and finally we said, Marshall, we just can't afford this rent. We have to move, and we'll pay you back when we can. And we moved. Well, about nine months later, a small photography job came in for Tony. It was about $3,000, and it turned into a $12,000 job, and we were able to pay Marshall back the full amount that we owed him. But as I thought about it, I thought, he showed us such kindness, and I was so grateful for that. And the Lord was showing me it was because we had shown kindness to our tenants that he was now able to give us kindness. I'll never forget how I learned the truth of Matthew 5, 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall be shown mercy. Anyway, I'm Barb Kaisman, and you are listening to Dare to Dream Once More.